everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are doing another meal prep video, except this one is really gonna target to people that really deal with cravings. I think that cravings are kind of like a really hard thing with dieting. So I'm gonna make a meal for you guys that is savory and sweet and also has some good fats. That way you feel like, you know what, I feel really satisfied, I feel good. So today we're making a Cajun spicy chicken with sweet potato and avocado. So the reason why I picked that and like that's what we're eating today is because, okay, you have your spicy chicken, so that takes care of one taste bud. Then you have the sweetness from the sweet potato and then the good fat from the avocado. A lot of people don't know, but the reason why you you get like those highs and the lows, like, you know, you're eating pizza, then right after you, you crave something sweet, right? A lot of people don't know that when you eat something super salty, your body immediately craves something sweet and vice versa. You have something sweet, then you also want something uh, salty. So this meal is gonna be great. Um, we made extra so you can have it for the next day and the day after that. Whether you know how to cook or you don't, I'm gonna make this super easy. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do everything. So don't worry, uh, I got you and let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a paper towel down like that. Then the next thing we're gonna do is wet the paper towel. Take your cutting board and you're gonna put it right on top like that. This is like a nice hack that you can do. Um, and still get like, you know, something nice and sturdy and concrete. That way we can cut the vegetables. We're gonna start with garlic, and I'm gonna be using about that much. Okay, so have a bowl that you're gonna be using. Everything goes in there, okay? Okay, so we have our peeled fresh onion. Okay. So this is what this guy did on YouTube. I thought it was really clever. He takes, he cuts his onions like this, and he puts them in the water, okay? And he says this is great for, I'm leaning on something, just like breaking our cabinet. Um, he puts them in the water and he says this will help you when you're cutting them to not like cry and get all like teary eyed. Okay, so now we're going in with diced tomatoes. This is great because it's just budget friendly and it's just super easy. This half though, we're gonna just cut. You know what, I thought the natural light's coming in here. We have like our big window in our living room. I'm like, let's turn the camera around. I'm like really proud of this technique. You like hold the knife, just like bounce it. Jared wants to get me knives for my birthday because we don't have, we didn't take a lot of our good stuff from New York. We didn't like ship knives and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we drove across the country, we're like, oh, we'll get pulled over. Like, we just, that's our thing of knives. Now is the fun part. We start putting in our potions. So, lime juice. You named it. <laughs> garlic salt. I don't know how to cook without garlic salt. Add in your pepper. This is the star of the show. This is cayenne pepper, and this is what's gonna give it that like spicy, Cajun-y taste. This is it. Now, I've been known to get carried away with this, and Jared, like, die. Oops. It's gonna be a hot one. Is that a snark? <laughs> There's actually, I forget what it's called, I think it's called the potato salad, and it's this dance we do in JJ's, and you're like... <laughs> but imagine like there's no bowl, like in the class you're just like... <laughs> just explain what I'm doing, big wooden spoon, everyone's got one of these, just mix it all in. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Wow. So now I'm just cutting the chicken to make it a little thinner because the chicken we bought, it's just not thin enough. Like I, I like it really thin. I'm gonna just drop it in there. And drop it in there. So I used a total of three chicken breasts and then I just sliced them so that they're thinner. Okay, so now we have our chicken and our marinade and we're just gonna Get it all nice in there. And we're going to work on the potatoes. So the reason why we did that first is because now it's just gonna suck in all those juices and get all nice and marinated. 
and the flavor is just so much better than if you were to just put that in the pot. Okay, so now we're gonna work on these sweet potatoes. So the first thing you wanna do is get a pot and you wanna fill the water like more than halfway. Okay, so now we're just gonna let it boil. And since that does take a little bit, you wanna make let that boil and now we're going to cut the potatoes. You don't have to do this, but me and Jared like to cut them first because they boil faster. So a long one like this, I'm gonna cut into threes. It's a great color. This looks gorgeous. Okay, so one. So got all our fingers. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put those in the pot. This is something you use for soup. A really unique use. I like it. Uh, no splash, no burn. So I use just a tiny bit of olive oil. That's all you need is this tiny little bit. And I'm going to scoop in all of the chicken and then pour everything on top. I like to use a fork. I mean, everyone does it a different way. And then this is why I like using a fork. So you take it and you can check to see if it's cooked underneath and like kind of like stab it, I guess. So when you're cooking chicken, you want to stand by it the whole time and just kind of watch it, move it around, flip it over. Each chicken should be on each side a few minutes, keep flipping. So the sweet potatoes, if you're like, what the hell happened to those things? They're starting to get soft, but I can like still feel that they're hard. That's why you want to start with sweet potatoes because kind of like a little trick is if, you, if you're making like a meat, like chicken with this, like what we're doing today, they're usually going to be done by the time the chicken is done. That's how much longer they take. So now I'm just testing everything to make sure the chicken and potatoes are ready. If it's all white inside, then it's ready. So this is how you tell if a sweet potato is ready. Before, remember how it was like hard before when I showed you? Perfect, see it goes all the way in. So we have our chicken, which is really spicy by the way, I gave it a little taste. We have our sweet potatoes, uh, super wifey status right now. So this is our dinner, we have our avocado. I just chopped up an avocado, put on a little pepper, our Cajun chicken and a sweet potato. So that was everything guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you are planning on trying out this meal. And for more meal ideas, definitely check out my diet cookbook. I show you, you know, countless meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.